Hi and welcome. I'm going to show you today how to do the Tunisian smock stitch in the round. So here I've made a bit of a, a beanie and I have created that using the Tunisian smock stitch in the round. So let's get started. So for this tutorial I've made a foundation double crochet ring. In the US it would be a foundation single crochet. I've joined it at top to bottom and I'm ready to begin. Now to work Tunisian crochet in the round you need to have a double ended crochet hook and the reason for that is you're going to do your forward pass in one direction and then you're going to be turning the work and using the other end of the hook for your return pass. So a forward pass one direction and a return pass with the other. And because of that, you also need to have two balls of wool at on the go at the same time. So I've got one small one here and one very large ball here. Now, having started with a foundation and double crochet, I'm going to now pick up my loops that I need to have on my hook to begin the pattern. So to do that, I'm simply going to insert my hook underneath those two vertical bar, uh, not vertical, under the two loops from the foundation row, yarn over and pull through. And I'm going to leave that on my hook. And I'm going to continue to put as many loops on my hook as I feel comfortable. That's the beauty of this, is you can put as many as you want, then do your return pass and then come back to your forward pass. So I'm gonna keep going. Okay, now I have quite a few, I've spread those out. So I've done my forward pass with this, this ball of wool. Now I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to need to attach a new ball for my return pass. So to do that, I'm simply folding it in half, draping it over, and because I'm working in the round, I don't actually need to return pass through one, as you often do if you're doing a flat piece of Tunisian crochet. For this, I'm going to pull through two. And I'm going to continue until I have two stitches remaining on my hook. So I have two stitches on my hook. Now I need to start a return pass again. So I'm going to turn my work. And you can imagine, if you're not careful, that these um, two balls can get quite tangled. So be aware of that as you're moving along. So that's what I get when I've um, finished a, a forward and a return pass. Now I'm back picking up my old wool and I'm going to continue putting those hooks, uh, putting the, the loops on my hook. So as many as I feel comfortable with. Let's see if I can Actually make it all the way around. Depending on the size of your work, it might take you a few rounds. Okay, and now I know I'm back at the beginning because I'm back at my foundation join tail. So that's the, I've finished my forward pass. I'm going to turn my work 
going to pick up my wool for my return pass. Just get a bit untangled. Okay. And continue just where I left off, pulling through two bars. I'll do that all the way back. Now I've gone all the way around, so I'm going to turn my work as I'm ready to start my forward passes again. And I'm just going to tighten this all up a bit. Pull on that one, pull on that one. Okay. Right. Now this is the start of the actual smock stitch. So for the first round, what you're going to be doing is you're finding these vertical bars. And actually it looks as though, so I can actually do one more forward pass just in there. Let me do that so, there we go. Okay, now, I'm ready to begin with my vertical bars. So for the smock stitch, this first row, yarn under and then through two vertical bars holding with your finger that initial yarn under. Then you're gonna yarn over and pull through. So in effect, what you're doing is you're doing a decrease of these two vertical bars and adding back the stitch you decreased with this yarn under. So I yarn under, hold my finger under two vertical bars, yarn over and pull through. And I'm going to do that again for as many stitches as I can get onto my hook. And then I'll do my return pass. So you get used to holding that and pulling it, holding, pulling through, okay? So I filled up my hook. Now I'm going to start with my return pass. So again, I'm going to turn my work and I've taken this ball over to the right hand side, keeps it from tangling. And just like before, this return pass is yarn over and pull through two stitches. Yarn over, pull through two. Now, on this one, as I'm pulling through the second, you see the remainder of these are all crossed over. You're simply gonna pull through the middle of those two. And that keeps the pattern intact for the next round. So there's two, I'm gonna pull through that one and then just right through the middle of those two that are crossed. Don't try and untwist them or untangle them because then it won't be right as you approach it for your forward pass. So just simply slide your hook between. And I, I do find leaving two stitches on the hook just helps with, allows you to control the tension a little bit better. Okay, so now I need to start my forward pass. So this is my forward ball. I'm gonna turn my work again, keeping things from getting tangled. And I'll continue with that yarn under and through two vertical bars. Okay. 
gonna do this until we get all the way to the end. Again, you can tell that you are at the end because you can find that foundation tail, which is there. Yeah, okay, so that's my foundation tail. That tells me I'm at the end. So I need to do my return pass. I've turned my work, picked up my return pass ball of wool and pulled it through until there are two loops left on the hook. You're almost holding the double ended crochet hook like a wand and manipulating the wand as you find the correct angle and tension for you. Okay, so I have now completed, I've gone all the way around and made that first row of my Tunisian smock stitch. Okay. For the next row of the Tunisian smock stitch, you are going to do a Tunisian simple stitch. So in other words, you're going to insert your hook under the first, well actually it's the second vertical bar. So you're skipping the first vertical bar and going into this second vertical bar, yarn under and pull through and then you are going to Tunisian simple stitch two together, this one and this one, yarn over and pull through, and then we have established our pattern. Now for the remainder of your work in the round with the Tunisian smock stitch, it's very easy because it's a repeat of this. Yarn under the hook, go between the under two of those vertical bars, yarn over and pull through. And you're gonna do that for as long as you want the length of your project. So it's yarn under, you find these two vertical bars and sometimes they can be a bit hidden so you might have to do a little digging around. So yarn under and what's important is that you check that you are getting this pattern. So you see you've got two together and then they, the, row, the next row, they're apart and it's two together here. So it's this alternating apart together, apart together. Um, so just make sure as you're picking up those vertical bars that you're picking up the right ones that enable that pattern to continue. And I will continue to do this all the way around. So I'm not stopping there is no end point now. I will continue to find the vertical bars that continue this pattern all the way around. So I'm going to do a return pass because my hook is full. So I turn and I return pass. two loops left on my hook, tighten that up and I'm back to my forward pass again. So I've turned my work, move my ball over and I'm ready to continue. So you can see how we've created that lovely pattern and as we push each row down it, it increases in density a little bit. 
So yarn under, find my two vertical bars, yarn over and pull through. And that is the Tunisian smock stitch in the round. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for tuning in to Lucent Crochet.